Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I've got something cool that I want to share with you today. It deals with these sports graphics or visuals that you see come up on the television. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, that looks pretty easy. And it is. You just need a couple different elements. One is you need to know the data, uh, X and Y coordinates. You need to have a good image. And then you also need to have a little patience. So this is for baseball. If you were to do cricket, you're going to have a picture of a striker. So what we're going to do here, or you're going to have a pitch if you're playing football. You have a new sheet. You come under map. Come under image, background images, tabular data. That's just the name of the file or the extract that you're working with. Select that. And now you're going to select, we're going to deselect these because we don't want those. We're going to add an image. You see file or URL. You're going to browse and you're going to pick a batter image. We'll pick this one. Now we'll pick this one. It's, I want to show you something about this. So now we need to put in what the X, what field represents X and which field represents Y. And this is going to be getting this information is tough. If it's a professional sport, they probably have the information on the, the web, but if it's for your own kid or your own uh, local league, they probably don't have the coordinates uh, down as well as uh, professional sports. Now you see a left and a right, and this is going to show where you want the image to be on the, on the background. And so I'm going to just select minus one for the left, one for the right, just to give you an idea of what that's going to look like. One for the right. And I'm going to say apply. And of course nothing works because we don't have the data. So we're going to bring the X to the columns, the Y, and we still only have one data point. That's because these are summed. You can either come in here, take off aggregate values, and that's what I'm going to do. You probably have another element that you would put down under the details that would uh, break that out. All right, so now the image is at um, going from 1 to negative 1, both on the top and the bottom, and negative 1 to 1. But our image is cut off. And the reason it is cut off is because when you come and look, the image is getting plotted on the background of where the uh, data points are. And we don't have any data points down here this far. So under options, always show the entire image. Apply, okay? So now we have the image is already applied, negative one to one, negative one to one. Um, but you can see there, the pitches don't look like they're in the right place. So this is where the patience comes in. We're going to edit this again. We're going to move this person. We're going to move him off to the left. So if we say negative 2 and 2, and then the bottom, because we want this to be at his feet, and this is the size of a man and the, the, the Y value. This is actually height in uh, feet. So we're going to say the average person is five and a half feet. These are feet, sorry for our friends overseas. So now this is looking better. We still don't have the XY lined up. I'm just going to kind of cheat because I've already done this offline already. Uh, two, and then we're going to say the 0.3 and um, 5.7, negative 0.3, I believe. And see, this is where the patience comes in as you're playing around with items and you're messing around till you get the image right where you want it. And then what you could do if you want to shorten things is under your axis, we're going to do fixed and we're going to have it start at, let's say, negative 0.6. That's looking better. And you might say, well, why didn't we use those values Oops. when we were doing the you know, the X and the Y on the map. Well, the reason is because there's white space around this this person. If you remember,
there's white space around him. So you might have the edge of the actual picture is over here. And so that edge is at negative eight. And so when you crop it by fixing the axis down here, you can get closer to the image, closer to you want, where you want. There you go. That works for uh, pictures here. The one thing I would say is when you do this, start off at a known point at zero, zero, and you can kind of work from there, making sure you've got your, so that your data points show up on the image in the right location. Enjoy, leave comments, please subscribe, and enjoy.